Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best laptops under $500. Starting at number 5. Acer Aspire 3 Spin 14, 2023. The Acer Aspire 3 Spin 14, 2023, is a budget Windows 2 in 1 laptop. It's available with an Intel N100, N200, or Core i3 N305 CPU which are all power-efficient Alder Lake N-series processors with only E-cores. Memory and storage max out at 8GB and 512GB, respectively. It has a 1080p IPS display, Wi-Fi 6 wireless connectivity, and a 720p webcam. Ports include two USB-S, a USB-C, an HDMI, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The USB-C supports DisplayPort and charging. You can see our unit specifications and the available configuration options in the differences between variants section. The Acer Aspire 3 Spin 14 is okay for school use. It feels reasonably well built, and its compact design makes it easy to carry around. The battery lasts around 7 hours of light use, so you only have to plug it in for a short time to get through a typical school day. The overall user experience is SOSO, the display looks sharp but dim, and the touchpad is fairly responsive, albeit small. It's only available with low-power Intel CPUs and integrated graphics, so it isn't ideal for students in fields like programming or 3D graphics. Coming at number 4. Microsoft Surface Go 3, 2021. If you're looking for something compact for media consumption or web browsing, get the Microsoft Surface Go 3, 2021, a Windows tablet with a built-in kickstand and a detachable type cover keyboard. Unlike the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, 2021, above, you must buy the keyboard separately. It's a good keyboard with a lot of tactility and backlighting, it's just a little cramped. It's worth getting because Windows isn't very touch-friendly, and using the keyboard helps protect the screen against scratches. Speaking of the display, it's a sharp 10.5-inch IPS panel. It gets bright enough for use in most settings and supports pen input. Again, the pen is a separate purchase. The Intel Pentium Gold model with 4GB of memory is fine for simple web browsing, emails, and video playback, but don't expect to edit 4K videos or play AAA games. If you can stretch your budget slightly, we recommend upgrading the RAM to 8GB, as you'll get a much smoother experience. The battery lasts about 7 hours of light productivity, which is short compared to most clamshell laptops, but not bad for a tablet. Port selection is atrocious, there's only one USB-C, a micro SD card reader, a headphone jack, and a proprietary Surface charging port. Its 1080p webcam is surprisingly good, though, and there's also a facial recognition IR camera to log in quickly. At number 3. Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, 2021. The Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, 2021, is our pick as the best for media consumption. It's a Chrome OS tablet with a kickstand and detachable keyboard, similar to the popular Microsoft Surface Pro line. This form factor is very versatile, as you can detach the keyboard to make the device easier to hold as a tablet or to save space, and you can snap it back on when you need to type something. It's easy to carry around thanks to its compact size, and its battery lasts around 8 hours of video playback, which is plenty of time for a couple of movies or TV show episodes. What makes this device great for multimedia is its gorgeous OLED screen. It produces vibrant colors, and the blacks look amazing, like on all OLEDs. The speakers are just okay, they get reasonably loud but sound slightly unnatural and lack bass. If you want to use headphones, no the laptop doesn't have a 3.5mm headphone jack, so it's best to go wireless. The keyboard comes with the device, so you don't need to buy it separately. However, it doesn't feel particularly comfortable to type on. It's fine for a couple of emails on the go, but better options exist for typing a long essay. Number 2 of my list. Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i Chromebook 14, 2023. Our best under Dash Dollar 500 Chromebook pick is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i Chromebook 14, 
2023. This 14-inch model is a great option for younger students and anyone needing a simple device for light productivity tasks. The Core i3 configuration, paired with an FHD touch-sensitive display, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of storage, is often on sale for $400 to $500 US dollars on Lenovo's website. There are cheaper models with an N100-N200 CPU and or 4GB of RAM, but we don't recommend them unless you have an extremely light workload, as they'll get bogged down quickly when multitasking or running more intensive applications. The Core i3 model's 1080p touch-sensitive display looks sharp and gets bright enough for use in well-lit settings. If you're often on video calls, you'd be happy to know this laptop has an excellent 1080p webcam and clear-sounding microphones. Port selection is decent, you get two USB-S, one USB-C, an HDMI, and a headphone jack. Unfortunately, the keyboard feels a little mushy, and the touchpad is small and not always responsive. On the upside, battery life is outstanding at around 13 hours of light use or 12 hours of video playback. And number 1. Lenovo IdeaPad 315-82KU00AAUS The best laptop under $500 we've tested is the Lenovo IdeaPad 315-2021, a 15.6-inch Windows Ultra Portable. For around $500, you can get a model with an AMD Ryzen 5 5500U CPU, 8GB of memory, and 256GB of storage. It feels very well built for its price, and its thin and light design makes it easy to carry around. Its Ryzen CPU isn't the latest and fastest processor on the market, however, it's still plenty fast for general productivity tasks like web browsing, video playback, text processing, and spreadsheets. Most people can get by with 8GB of memory. If not, you can always add more later since it's user-replaceable. This model has a 1080p display. It looks decently sharp and provides plenty of space for multitasking. It gets bright enough for use in most settings, though not outdoors in broad daylight. Unfortunately, it's a TN panel, so it doesn't have the best viewing angles, meaning the image quality degrades significantly when viewing at an angle. There are models with an IPS display if you don't mind paying more. Port selection is decent, you get two USB-S, a full-size HDMI, and a USB-C port. The downside is that you can't use the USB-C to charge the laptop or output a video signal to an external display. If you can stretch your budget slightly, get the Acer Swift 314 2020 instead. It has a nicer IPS display with full sRGB coverage, significantly longer battery life, and Thunderbolt for support. The latter allows you to transfer files quickly at up to 40 gigabits per second and connect two 4K displays at 60 Hz with a single cable. However, the webcam isn't as good, and you also lose the numpad. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.